Break one nine. This is Raccoon's Radio Ranch. <laughs> Hi there everyone and welcome to Raccoon's Radio Ranch. If this is your first time here then please do me a favor and smack that thumbs up button to like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on that little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you like the video make sure you share it with everybody you know. Now let's jump right into the video. So you're new to the CB hobby and you keep hearing people talk about single sideband. But you have no idea what that is because you're new to the hobby. Well don't worry, that's what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about single sideband. First off, if you don't see a USB LSB on the front of your radio, then you don't have sideband in it. So the first thing we want to do is ask the question, what is single sideband? Single sideband, or SSB as it's also known, is another way that the radio waves are carried over the air. A radio that has sideband will transmit and receive the standard 1 through 40 channels along with the lower sideband and upper sideband channels, giving you more channels to operate on. Another benefit of the single sideband radios is the additional power. The FCC allows 12 watts of transmit power for single sideband. And since it's all modulation, you can be heard many more miles away on sideband, giving you the ability to talk even further away than you can on the AM side. So let's take a quick look at a base station that has single sideband in it. You can see and hear what it sounds like. So, as an example for sideband use, today I'm going to be using my President Washington base station, which is an AM single sideband transceiver. I'm going to put on sideband so you can hear. Here's the difference. Turn the scratch down. Testing one, two, three. You can hear I am off on sideband. And that's what you use your clarifier for. I'm off on sideband. That's what you use your clarifier for. So let's see if I can get myself in. Testing one, two, three. That doesn't help that I'm on the upper sideband. Testing one, two, three. Wow, that sounds really good aside from the feedback from being so close. Let's see. I'll turn my mic game back some. There we go. This is what it sounds like on sideband. I am on lower sideband on 35 talking. As you can see, sideband is modulation driven. And usually there is people on 38 lower side band around here. They like to use this channel. But there is nobody there right now. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. You can hear. I'm just starting to hit the there we go. That's coming in pretty good on sideband. This radio sounds pretty good on sideband. And if you're on AM listening, and you hear people on sideband, they will sound like this to you. Let me turn the scratch back down. Hello? 
So that's what people, when you're on the AM side and you don't have a sideband radio, that's what the people on sideband sound like to you. I'll turn the mic gain back. Maybe you can hear it a little better. Hello, one, two, three, three, two, one. People on sideband sound like this to you until you get to the AM side. Until you get to, until you get to the AM side. Then they sound good again. All right, now let's get back on with the video. CB radios in the United States can transmit AM signals or single sideband signals. And thanks to the new Part 95 amendment, soon they'll be transmitting FM signals as well. But that's another video. With the additional 12 watts transmission power, a single sideband CB radio can communicate over 30 miles away. That is why I always tell people that it's important to have a sideband radio. It's always better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Alright, well that's the end of this video. But before you go, do me a favor and leave a comment in the comment section below to say hi. I always like hearing from my subscribers and my viewers. Thumbs up and like the video. And be sure to share it with all your friends and family. Click the subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.